morning everybody and welcome to Austria. I am in Vienna for basically one day. I am here from Tuesday to Thursday but I landed really late last night on Tuesday. Today is Wednesday so I've got all of the day to explore and then I leave tomorrow morning at like 5am. I've got my Uber booked for half four in the morning so that's really exciting. My flight's at 7am. I'm sorry if you can hear the passing traffic but I've just sat down on a little bench to come and fill you in because I'm staying in a hostel, a really nice hostel but then it means that obviously there's not really anywhere private to talk to the camera. I thought I would come out here and start the vlog. It is currently just gone 10. The hostel runs a free walking tour at half 10. So I'm going to go and do that because I was going to go and do my own thing and then I thought I'll just do the free walking tour and it's apparently only two hours anyway. So anywhere that I like on the walking tour that I don't spend enough time in, I can go back and visit in the afternoon. And I've had breakfast at the hostel. I'm staying at the Wombats Hostel, which I would really recommend. They've got the in London, Munich, Budapest and Vienna I think and it's the biggest hostel I've ever stayed in my entire life. It's absolutely massive, the corridor's gone for so long and there's a lovely downstairs bit with a little cafe where I had my breakfast, I had a cafe latte and a little brownie that cost me six euros. So I'm really excited to be here, I've never been in Austria before, this is my first time in Austria and I'm here completely by myself which is another kind of new thing for me because even though I went to Thailand myself I sort of knew the people in the WhatsApp groups that I would be meeting once I was out there but this time it's just me just me in Austria. So I had a bit of a bear coming here yesterday though because I was flying from Edinburgh and not Glasgow so I had to get the Edinburgh airport bus from near where I live and I was meant to get it at six minutes past three. It says it came on the tracker. I was there at 10 to. It did not come so I had to get the next bus at 36 minutes past three which luckily got me there in time and I was a bit nervous about all the stuff about the airports at the minute but Edinburgh airport was fine especially seeing as I'm hand luggage only it was completely fine. I was even there like an hour early walked around the airport got myself a boots meal deal. There was a couple of check-in queues for a couple of different airlines but overall the airport wasn't busy at all so I had so much stress and worry I even tweeted CityLink and everything but all that for nothing and then I got through the airport fine Landed in Vienna, got a taxi from the airport to the hostel because like I said I landed at like 11pm so I knew that the public transport would sort of only get me halfway before the public transport stops. That's also why I'm taking a taxi back to the airport tomorrow morning but I've decided to get an Uber because you can reserve them in Austria which is really cool and my taxi on the meter from the airport last night cost me 51 euros. So that's about half my budget. Obviously so far I haven't seen that much, I've just been walking around the hostel a little bit, went to the Aldi next door to pick up some water and just had my breakfast. I was going to walk around for a cafe but I just decided to get it in the hostel. It's really beautiful so far. Obviously Austria is known to be quite expensive so I'm hoping to kind of do this trip on a bit of a budget. I mean it helps that I'm only here for one day. My budget is about 200 euros for this trip and I think I'm sticking to it so far. I'll let you know by the end of the video. They speak German here and everything but everyone so far spoke English. Really good because I don't know any German. I've been trying to say Danke but I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's, it's just I normally try with the language for German is just an extra layer of difficulty. So I'll probably film a little montage of the walking tour, like I won't want to vlog when we're out and then I will just do my own thing from the afternoon. This is where I am sat but you can see the beautiful buildings already. My hostel is just across there and I think this bit in the middle is the next market or something like that, like there's a little market in the middle. Camp. It was a death camp, a working camp. 
Prison is there had to work till they passed it. That square already is part of the Imperial Palace. We call it Joseph Square, Joseph's Platz. It's named after that man on the horse. That's Emperor Joseph II. Now he was son and successor of Empress Maria Theresa. He reigned from 1780 till 1790. <laughs> Margarita Teresa was pregnant six times in four years. And after six years she died. They started to build the first church here in 1137. At that time it was outside of the city wall. 100 years later they wanted to have a new church. So they removed the old church and built on the same foundations of the same size and the same style in New York. finished with our tour it was very good free tour but you have to like tip at the end basically but I didn't mind I gave five euros because I thought she was very good and then we went for some lunch at an Italian place I got pizza and then I didn't finish it so I've also got dinner sorted and now I'm just mooching my way back and gonna see a couple of sights along the way there's St Stephen's Cathedral behind me walking down the main bit again, which is like one of the most expensive shopping streets in Europe, she said. The tour was really good because those were spots I was going to go to anyway and now I learned more about them with the history as well. A uh, free hostel city tour is a great way to meet friends. <laughs> Lots of other people are travelling by themselves as well and then you just strike up a conversation and make friends. And now we're also going to all have a drink at the hostel tonight. This statue is really cool because it actually represents like the plague. The plague was sweeping through Europe. Each bit represents a different part. So the bottom bit is meant to be like the plague where you can see them like, getting destroyed and everything. And then as you go up and it goes towards the angels and the clouds, that's supposed to be like towards heaven. And then at the very top there is the Holy Trinity. The Emperor is also put on this statue and apparently he looks even worse than he does on the statue and he married his niece who gave birth to six children over four years and then she died at the age of 21 so there's a fun fact for you my feet were getting a bit sore again so i've just come to sit in a little grassy park i'm just by myself now i'm just sitting here i think this is the hofberg but up there is where hitler did one of his speeches and this whole square was filled with Austrians so that's interesting and then the president and the chancellor also live in these apartments back here which is pretty cool I'm gonna walk that way because it looks pretty cool over that way see what there is to find and then I think I'm gonna walk towards Belvedere Palace because it is one of the things to do but I know that it costs money to go in and as you know I'm trying to do this trip on a budget I'm not gonna pay to go in but you can see it from the outside it's very pretty Louise one of the girls said that she went the other day and the gardens are free so you can walk around the gardens for free and see the nice palace from the outside so I think I'm gonna do that by then it'll probably be like dinner time and I'll head back and have my dinner at the market across the road from the hostel I can't believe I've only got one day in Vienna there's actually so much I want to do and see like down that way there is this like pan house with butterflies and it's like £5.95 to get in I would love to do that if I had more time and more money in Vienna also I was thinking about going up the top of St Stephen's Cathedral but I decided not to because I've just got so much to do and see and everything and it costs five euros fifty to go up to the top which isn't that much but my card I tried to take money out the ATM and it just basically like was in there a while and then it said request timed out I tried twice I've just been like using my card to spend but I know that not everywhere takes card and I've literally got like five euros in coins and cash left so that's the rest of my cash and the rest of it is just on my Monzo card hoping that they accept card because I know that not a lot of places do especially like markety sort of places so I think I'm going to save my cash for tonight and try and my card in other places I would like to try some like traditional Austrian pastries and everything but they're quite sweet here like they like a lot of sweet foods and I like quite a lot of savoury foods and I've also still got my leftover pizza so I hope I can get enough food in because I want to try as much food and everything as possible just taking myself on a date 
to Austria. Natural History Museum. Fine Arts Museum. They're matchy matchy. Here we have it. I've arrived at Belvedere Palace. I'm gonna walk around the park, the gardens, try and find a bench. I had to stop at a cafe because I really needed pee and I didn't know where I had toilets so I had to go and pay for peach iced tea and I only took cash and then I used the toilet. Because this is at six, it's like half past four. That is pretty impressive. And this looks like it's the gardens. There's a little water bit over there. I don't know what that is but it says there is Upper Belvedere and Lower Belvedere and I think this is Upper Belvedere. So I'll go and have a look at Lower after walking around. the front wall of the palace and then you've got these massive gardens and I think that down there is actually the lower built there and some people are taking a massive loop around I however have done 17,000 steps just walk across the front thank you very much so pretty though like you can see mountains and hills in the distance something I haven't seen in Vienna yet as you can see I am back home now that was an absolute fleeting trip to Austria I didn't really film much for the rest of the day because I got back to the hostel about six I was planning to stay out a bit longer exploring but I'd been walking around since 10 a.m and my feet were going to fall off I still had the leftover pizza that I had for lunch so I went back to the hostel ate that just chilled there for a couple of hours and then the two girls that I met we went down to the bar and we had a couple of drinks together the bar was absolutely stunning this hostel is unlike any hostel that I encountered in Asia. I don't know if this is a Europe-wide hostel thing or it was just an amazing hostel, but honestly, it was like a hotel. I was amazed and the bar was like an actual bar. Like you wouldn't have thought it was part of a hostel. Anyway, it was amazing. And I'm so proud of myself for taking my first proper solo trip and also the first thing that I've ever been to Austria. I would probably have liked at least one more day. I mean, I don't think I would have liked more than three. Number one, because of the money. Number two, I feel like I could hit all the spots that I wanted to hit in three days. And I would have maybe liked to go to a couple of museums and a couple of palaces and things, but those have all got quite high entrance fees and I was trying to keep this on a budget. So I also kept a note of everything that I spent, which I'm gonna run through in a second. But yeah, I really loved Austria. I really noticed that the city was really clean. There was no litter anywhere. Obviously it was all gorgeous. Like you would just walk around a corner and there would be another stunning thing to look at but no litter it was really green i think it was really environmentally friendly as well there were separate lanes for all the bikes and i saw loads of people were going around with like electric scooters and things that looked really fun i tried to do this trip on a budget like i said vienna can be quite expensive and i wanted to keep my costs down as much as possible which is why i didn't really go to any like tourist attractions that you had to pay to go into my flights were really cheap but that also i think was why they landed really late which was why i had to get a taxi to and from the airport which put my prices up so my flights were 37 pounds 73 pence and then i booked my hostel i stayed at wombat's hostel and you have to pay a deposit when you're booking it online and then you pay the rest in local currency when you get there i paid a deposit of seven pounds 21 pence my bus to the airport which i'm not sure if i would count so you can kind of like weigh this up because obviously if you can get a lift to the airport if you live closer to an airport because I took my flight from Edinburgh airport so I had to take a bus to Edinburgh airport which cost me £14.80. I took out £80 of spending money which turned into €90. Euros. I then used that €90 euros to spend €45.73 euros and 73 cents on the rest of the hostel which is why my deposit is in pounds and the rest of the hostel is in euros. The taxi from the airport to the hostel cost a lot more than I was expecting it to. I asked the hostel how much I should expect to pay. They said about 40 euros. It ended up being 51 euros. The meter on the taxi went up 30 cents every five seconds, but it doesn't go up when it stops. However, on the way back, I used Uber and it was cheaper, so I would recommend using Uber if you're getting a taxi in Vienna. Don't get the airport taxi. I spent one euro on water 
and then I had breakfast which cost six euros for a coffee and a brownie at the hostel. My lunch, the mushroom pizza, was nine euros. Then I spent three euros thirty on a peach iced tea, and then back at the hostel I spent five euros eighty on a cocktail at the bar. They give you a one euro off like barcode when you check into the hostel which is great and then I spent three euros forty on a spritz after because I wanted another drink and I wanted something that was cheaper than a cocktail. Those were my costs in Vienna if you're very interested. I thought it was quite cool because it's quite easy to keep track of your spending when you're only there for one day. So that's how much I spent getting to Vienna and how much I spent in a day in Vienna. I didn't spend any money sightseeing. I will say I gave the um, tour lady a five euro tip because it's a free tour but it's like a tipping tour. That's kind of what happens when you take a free walking tour. I didn't spend the five euros to go up to the top of St. Stephen's Cathedral but you can do that. And I went to Belvedere Palace which you can walk around the gardens of because it was apparently nicer than Schönbrunn Palace which doesn't as, as nice gardens and I'm glad that I went to Belvedere. I think I would have preferred it over the other one anyway. Everything is beautiful from the outside anyway. I'm sure it's also beautiful on the inside but you can spend a lot less money just appreciating it from the outside. So that's what I did. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to see more content from me. And I'll be back next time with more travel videos. Bye guys!